Good morning, folks. We've got a number of items in space to hit today. Based on a flurry of commentary yesterday, we'll finish by going over a key element of the ongoing magnetic changes underway here on Earth. Let's begin at spaceweathernews.com, and we find the last day was relatively quiet. Tiny trailing patch at the northern coronal hole becomes visible as the previous opening, and the active region, go towards the limb. Either the solar wind out of the northern opening is slow, or it has sailed north of the Earth. Telemetry is calm at the moment, along with geomagnetic conditions. The top quake of the last day hit magnitude 6 again, but did so at the low velocity zone. Not much damage. In fact, most of the largest rumbles of the day were blot echoes at similar depths, including Greece, Indonesia, and Argentina. Let's go out to space for a distant nova from another galaxy, one that spikes almost vertically in brightness and then faded away very slowly. Through continued observation, they were actually able to give us the fading light curve of the nova event more than 70 million light years away, where from most Earth telescopes, the galaxy itself is but a tiny smudge. Up next, we're coming to the galactic centers for light echo mapping. Outbursts and more constant production of light near the center is known to strongly produce infrared and other returns when they hit the surrounding gas and dust, and light is fast but not fast enough to hide the source versus bounce rate over time. To give you an idea, the closest star to the sun is four light years away. They are tracking light echoes over a few weeks to months from a mission to bounce. Up next, we're sticking with the cores of tremendous space structures, but here's where the mainstream science goes off the rails. By zooming in on something they believe to be more than 12 billion light years away, they claim to have found galaxies in the web of a supermassive black hole. Well, the problem is that their zoom capability is only so good. This is what they have, folks. It is an incredible deep space imaging moment, to be sure, and obviously a very cool animation to go with it. I'm just not sure this is more than wishful extensions of paradigm thinking that cannot fully be supported by the observations. But hey, at least there are observations. Folks, the new black hole image simulation matchup that allegedly fortifies Einsteinian gravity by 500x is of course based on the image debunked by Professor Pierre-Marie Robitaille. His YouTube channel, Sky Scholar, is one of the recommended ones on my channel homepage. Go check it out. But also, below the video you can find the only legit plasma experiments ever done by humans in zero-g. The Russians on the ISS were trying to make many galaxies but kept getting a black hole in the middle Literally, not the massive light-bending math of physics, but an actual void of nothing in the center. Spin pulled the same trick, except it first decided to have a binary-like orbit around a zero point with no other thing around which it's orbiting. That video is below, and combined with Dr. Robitaille's work provides a different perspective on astrophysical plasma. Last but not least, folks, the Earth's magnetic field can flip within a human lifetime due to its accelerating pattern once the shift begins. This article, now years old, confirmed previous studies by the USGS and Occidental, which confirmed the same. And there are two key aspects to take away from this. First, Earth's modern shift began in 1859. We are still going and accelerating, and therefore if someone says the field couldn't possibly flip in our lifetimes, not only is that factually incorrect, but it's been ongoing more than a human lifetime and still accelerating. If it happened today, we'd come nowhere near breaking the record for fastest flip. Second, after going from losing 5% of the magnetic field per century in the 1900s to about 5% loss per decade now, and with Earth's magnetic field threshold about 50% before chaos begins, and with us already down about 20-25% to 25 now, that puts the maximum time remaining at 40-50 to 50 years until the chaos starts. Maximum. It is expected to be closer to 25 to 30 years at this rate, and of course, it is much less if we get another acceleration, which we all believe we saw this summer following the latest geomagnetic jerk from the core. 10, 20, maybe 25 years at most. Want to know more? Suspiciousobservers.org has all of our top videos. Our channel page, where you can find Dr. Robitaille's channel recommended, also has great playlists for you to peruse as well. We've got your wind maps and shots of our star to close, and of course, we'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now, it's 5.30 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.